we're doing our first ever Stereo Hype show in the USA. Hypnotic. Oh, there goes the effects knob. Oh, there goes the fader cap. In the morning, we're doing our first ever New York City Hype Family Link Club. We've got to do a debrief right now. It's a 10. Yeah. James Hype. New York City. This is going to be special. We're doing our first ever Stereo Hype show in the USA, right here. And then the day after, we're doing an exclusive, very small show for the realist of Hype Fam. We're going to bring you with us all the way. Let's go, transition. I love this city. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I've said before, New York Hype Fam literally go harder than like any Hype Fam. Hang on, come and look at this view. <laughs> look at this, man. I I don't even know if you can see how, how, right. So right now we're on floor 55. So how tall is that building, mate? Like, what, 500 floors or something? Also looks empty as well. Um, anyway, as I was saying, New York hype fan. Literally, maybe the best in the world. Also check out this tea. Stereo hype New York. No one has one of these. I got one for tonight. Um, so yeah, what's happening tonight? We've got, um, Cam's playing. Cam, how long are you playing for tonight? I am doing a 90 minute set. <laughs> Tita, how long are you playing for? One hour and a half. So the, the same. So 90 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'll, I'm playing for two hours after that. Um, I haven't actually finished like getting music together yet. I only really started. Same. But actually we did, we, we all did it. We, we, all, we, all <laughs> we all flew into New York yesterday. And um, I spent the whole flight making music. Really, I should have spent some of the flight getting my set ready, but I always get carried away. Same. And just, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but maybe I've got something I can play tonight anyway. Uh, I'd, I'd kind of like to make some sort of epic intro because it's, it's just New York. Everything about New York is epic. So, yeah, I've got to get ready for my set. Luckily, it's still quite early in the day. What time did you guys wake up? I, I don't know. I'm still confused. <laughs> I'm confused. Gee, a little bit of jet lag going around as well. Um, but I think I think we're all I think we'll all be good for tonight, and and tomorrow as well. So yeah, leave me alone. I'm gonna get ready, and then we're gonna go sound check in like three hours or something. So I'll come I'll come to sound check because it's a super important show. Also, hang on, I teased this and moving differently a few weeks ago. We redesigned the venue for this show, so we're doing the show at Avant Gardener, and basically we've put a whole new stage in. So look at all these tiers of people standing on the stage. And then the main dance floor is like down here. So yeah, that's being built as we speak, but then we're all gonna go and see it for sound check. And yeah, let's do this transition. And welcome to Avant Gardner. <laughs> It looks cool in here. It's actually my first time in here. So this place is connected to Brooklyn Mirage, but it's too cold to do Brooklyn Mirage in the winter. So we do this indoor venue. It's like an old warehouse. It looks sick. Like, so like I was saying before, sorry, Wallace nearly tripping over the case. We've rebuilt the stage. Normally it's all the way up here. But if you see what they've done here, we've got this staggered stage so that people can stand all the way down. And then when I'm playing, I'm really close to the, to the people in the front row, really close. <laughs> I wasn't expecting it to be that close. That's actually wild. Yep. That's really fucking close. This is gonna be a fun show. Let's get on with this sound check, all right? Yo, we are still at sound check. It is currently coming up to 9 p.m. Doors open at 10. Um, Joe is having some issues with the lights. Oh, they've just gone off. Right, we're doing this with an iPhone torch now. Um, yeah, Joe's having some issues with the lights, so he's doing that. Uh, me and Jack, who you saw in the last episode, are still setting up the cameras, um, but we're just waiting for some lights so we can set it all up. Doors open in about an hour, rewires on in about two hours, and then uh, we are good to go. We've had to replace one mixer, and that's it so far. That's all the issues, um, but yeah. Transition to when rewire is pulling up. Yes, guys, listen, the time is almost upon us, Avant Gardner. 
New York, first ever stereo hype show in the US of A. It looks like it's gonna go off. I'm on in 10 minutes. If you can't already tell, I'm super excited. And you know what, I'm extra excited because this is actually my first ever, ever show in the USA. Let's go.
to get a D to the D D D brief 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 D I wasn't like in the moment, I don't know why. Um, there were a lot of things kind of throwing me off, but I shouldn't have let them throw me off. Like I had this big fan just blowing like up my t-shirt the whole time. <laughs> um, and I was gonna ask someone to move it, but I was like, nah, cause then if it's not there, I'll be too hot. Um, and then loads of things kept flying off the mixer. It was like, oh, there goes the effects knob. Oh, there goes the fader cap. Like constantly throughout the set. And then also my headphones were cutting out. Don't know what the don't know what the fault was, whether it was like something on the mixer, something on a cable or something. But every time that they totally broke, I was like, all right, we need a solution here. I can't hear anything. And then they just came back. Um, so I never found out what was wrong with them, but we'll find out one day. 9.5. Next. I'm also going to give it a 9.5. It was absolutely amazing. Hype fam were crazy. Apart from one of you who threw a bottle at my head. No way. But I dodged it. <laughs> Did you see me? Right, Wallace, you find it in slow motion, me mm. like, and it literally just scrapes past my eyebrow. But yeah, that's why the 0.5 has been deducted because you guys were just too lit having too much of a wild time. Uh, that was absolutely incredible though, and you killed your set and Rewire, you, you killed your set too. Yeah, the whole team killed it. Yeah, Cra crazy they got everyone. Crazy amount of work went into it, so. Do you know what then? I'm going to upgrade mine to a 10! I'm going to go straight in with a 9. Best thing, Tita's new intro is incredible. Fuck. And Hype Fam, I love you, but I am deducting a point because there was a lot of things flying from the audience. <laughs> we had chewing gum, we had lip balm, and we had fireball shots. So, You're yeah, thanks for that. I'm going to give it a 10 Woo! because... The, I think it's the best crowd to date, um, especially the people at the front. They were just on it all night. I'm going to give it a 9.5. Would be a 10 if my shoes weren't battered because I was in the crowd and people were standing on my feet. But yeah, but the vibe in the crowd was unmatched. So yeah, 9.5. Uh, I'm going to give it an 8.5. Uh, oh no, sorry. Uh, Your shoes are fine, but they are, yeah. <laughs> I actually managed to break my console. Uh, I was pressing one of the buttons so hard, the and not just the cap came off, the entire button module came off. So I had to, yeah, the entire button but came out. Is that out. not the result of it being so sick? <clears throat> yeah. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> um, and yeah, Hype Farm was sick, so yeah, good card. Thank you. Uh, it was a nine for me. Um, I, I had a quick power nap back at Joe's. Uh, beyond that, it was really good, crap was good. 10, I'm a fan, I don't know it with you. <laughs> right, I've got to say 9.5 only because I, I did like the first sort of artist set and I was the one that sort of figured out which bits of equipment weren't working. So literally during my set, nobody <laughs> noticed and I styled it out, but like the decks were like powering down and stuff. It was mad. But, you know, show goes on. We continued and the hype fam were so sick. I mean, look at the crowd, look at the turnout. First stereo hype show in the USA. Are you mad? Sold out. Sold out. Come Woo! on, who does this? Come on, guys. Yes. <laughs> so I'm gonna give it a 9.8. And uh, like Rewire was saying, the hype fam were sick. Uh, as I was walking throughout the crowd, there were hype fam from Florida. I thought I came from a long distance, only Washington, D.C., but it's a short flight. But uh, ran a hype fan from, I think, Ohio and also Philadelphia and, of course, New York. Sold out show, excellent. And all the DJs performed excellent, despite uh, mixers, buttons flying everywhere. <laughs> and uh, Joe did an awesome job, too. I love the, uh, all right. the effects on the uh, screen. So overall, 9.8. Go, Joe. Go, Joe. <laughs> oh, it's upside down this whole time. <laughs> Great. <laughs> but, um, right, I'm going to give it a nine. It was going to be a five. But, <laughs> but, yeah, these three doppy the shit out of this thing. Like, it was fucking crazy. Joe and Wallace and Jack. Where's Jack? 
yeah? You guys are absolutely <laughs> epic. The coordination with the visuals, when you guys see the visuals, they yeah. are mental. Like, proper mental work. Proud of every single person in this room. Like, the work you put in, Stereo Hype is taking over the world. If you don't believe me, go ask your mother in it, fam. <laughs> Sick. Go on. The show was a 10. I don't know what <laughs> nobody here is talking about. I, it was a 10. Everything was seamless. This is the backstage people. So they, they gotta deal with all that craziness. I didn't see none of that. It was a 10 every time. All right? That's how we doing it. Thank you. My God. I'll get up. Oh my oh, god, here it goes. It wasn't hot. It was not. What? I wasn't hot. You told me it was hot. No, I didn't. You're just lying for the DB. No, I swear. I swear. <laughs> I swear. There's a bit. I had the fan in my face most of the time, because which revealed my hot. forehead to like the entire crowd the entire time. Um, Pretty sure Joe's got a picture of that. Yep. No doubt a visual. Um, I agree with Rush. Same, same words. We did Duppy the thing. Uh, <laughs> um, but no, every single person killed it. Um, no complaints, 10 out of 10. Um, I really like the new edition of the visuals. I thought that was a really cool touch. Yes. And, um, for, think... for anyone who doesn't know what we're talking about right now, mm. Wallace was filming in the DJ booth and he had a transmitter on his camera that was transmitting a signal to Joe, who was using the image to mix into the visuals on the screens. It's pretty fucking cool. And you'll see it in the video. Sorry. You'll see it in the video. It was too hot. It was a bit hot. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so in the morning, yeah, you're all laughing because you all feel like we just need to go to sleep, but in the morning, we're doing our first ever New York City Hype Fam Link Up. Um, sorry, Hype Fam Hangout, my bad. I get the words wrong. Um, it's really weird that Joe's filming me right now. He like looks dead awkward with the camera, he's like, <laughs> It's like, it's so like, you know, when you like you've never you seen ask a someone to hold a baby who's never had a baby. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, in the morning we're doing the Hype Fam Hangout. Um, and I'm not, I'm not even sure how many people are going to turn up. Like we've, we've selected people from a guest list and invited them. And it's going to be really interesting. We're actually doing it at the one hotel in Brooklyn. And we've got like a, a bar area there. So it's just like good vibes. I know it's Christmas. Transition. Yo. We are here at the One Hotel in Brooklyn. This is called Harriet's Bar. I had three hours sleep. I feel really shitty. And I'm drinking a gin and tonic. And it's an American measure, so it's very strong. So, it's just coming up to three o'clock, right? And we told the, the people who are attending to arrive at three o'clock. Now, Rashawn's been here since about one o'clock and there were no decks here. So we were relying on the team from the one hotel to like get all the equipment for us. And there were just no decks here. And everyone was, everyone was like, oh, the decks are 10 minutes away. The decks are an hour away. They're two hours away. They're here. No sign of them. They've just arrived and the guys are setting them up now. The view out there looks epic, and there's hype fam there already, but we're like hiding away in here because it's a bit intense out there, and I don't want to be in the middle of loads of fans when there's literally no decks, and I'm like, just going like this. <laughs> but yeah, I think I think it'll all, it'll all come together. I was, was a bit worried, I'm not gonna lie, but if you look through there now, you can see like Rush with a flying case. Uh, so yeah, let's do this, hang out, New York.